Hello Internet, uh, this is going to be a Let's Play blind run of Dragon Age Origins. I am Dre Goddams, uh, representing the Dreamcloud Project, and uh, I'm here to give you a kind of cool little RPG experience. Uh, I've never done a Let's Play before, but I've watched loads of them, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to hop in the fray and see if I can enjoy a game I've never played before, but heard really good things. And uh, since I like Let's Plays, why not uh, try one for myself? Um, I guess just to start things off, I want to say uh, I'm sure I'll need a little bit of help, but as always, spoilers are never any fun. So try to refrain from doing spoilers in the comments below. Um, help as far as things like if I'm doing the alchemy system wrong, um, those are perfectly cool. But uh, things that ruin like kind of events that are going to happen later, like, oh, hey, in the next video, you're probably going to have this crazy cool twist. Um, if we can stay away from those, uh, that would be perfect. Otherwise, I mean, please comment below, like, subscribe, and um, hopefully we will all enjoy this experience. Um, I guess we're going to hop in it soon, and uh, see how it goes. I'm a big RPG fan, so I can't wait to experience this. And, uh-oh. Two of them, I believe. Origins, I guess, is more beginning, so we'll go with that. Let's see here. Okay. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. This looks like it's going to be a cool little opening scene. Saw this, uh, not talking. Watch. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the Deep Roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all.
That guy looks like a stud. Cool. And now here we are. Um, background. You just select will determine which of the six distinct opening stories you'll play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. Very cool. So it sounds like uh, the background, history, and race that you choose is going to kind of define your starting area and that sort of thing. I like that. Um, pretty into RPGs. I love like the Elder Scrolls, Morrowinds, one of my favorite games. Um, even when I was little, stuff like Zelda and uh, Crystalis for those who know N uh, NES and stuff. So I'm pretty excited to get into this and uh, I'm not going to just rush through the uh, character making so I'll probably try to make some cool decisions. I think I am going to go against my typical playstyle which is always kind of hunter, elf, sneak, stealth sort of thing. I'm probably going to try to go with something magic. Um, hopefully magic doesn't suck in this game but uh, if it does, then we're just going to magic so freaking good that's not going to matter. So uh, let's check out the races. Um, oh, it's kind of weird with humans. I feel like people often just go away from humans because, you know, most of us are human. Uh, so they always kind of want to be something different. And uh, I'm, I'm the same way. I always pick elves. But I think I might maybe if I'm going to try to do something different than what I normally do. Might have to pick human, but I don't know if they do magic. They have a plus one for magic. Let me see. Um, you know, most numerous of all the races. Only four times have they ever united under a single cause, the last being centuries ago. Religion and the Chantry play a large part in human society. It distinguishes them culturally from elves and dwarves more than anything else. Humans can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Perfect. Let me see what the elves can be. Uh, Elves can be likewise warriors, rogues, mages. I'm just guessing the dwarves are hampered by what they can be. What if like all three races could be everything and it's like no point of even putting that there? Let's see here. Oh, okay. Dwarves cannot be mages, so I won't be picking a dwarf. Um, and I, yeah, I'm gonna go with a human just for the sake of I always pick elf. Um, so we could do that, do that, and gonna go with the oh the magi. Ooh. Reminds me of uh, the mummy, mummy and we, the Magi. Wielding a power as dangerous as it is potent. You know that magic is a curse for those lacking the will to control it. You anxiously uh, await your harrowing, the one chance to prove yourself against the demons lurking without and within. Succeed or be slaughtered by the knights who ward against your kind. I love the sound of that. And background, oh, I guess I only have one choice for the background. That kind of sucks. I'm curious what these other things say. Human noble. Uh, noble. Okay. okay, let me just see. Oh, rogue. Okay, so they're just a different sort of skills. Um, and then the different skills give you like a different sort of uh, starting area, I guess. So we'll go race. Magi. And the only thing I can be is this guy. All right. Greetings. Uh this I won't spend too much time because I know the video can get really boring going through all this thing so I wonder let me just go through all the presets whoa that looks like a chick liking the look of that guy and actually I should just make a Bruno Mars character and just really goof things around uh, I'm gonna go with this sick ass bearded dude name and the name we're going to choose is Kindle. I use that a lot in uh, other games. I play Lotro and stuff, so people recognize that. Uh, the hell? Can't pick my last name? Oh, I guess not. Uh, you might uh, recognize uh, that name. Um, if not, pleasure to meet you. So, might just change the hair color and we will be good to go. Can I change the hair color? Nope. There we go. Let's see, what's a very magical... Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a little Ron Weasley action going on. Voice. Greetings. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. How do you do? Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> a suave magic Greetings. dude. How do you do? Greetings. I mean, I guess uh, they're going to have more things, but I can't really tell violent from that. Charmed, I'm sure. Yeah, let's go with suave. 
Portrait, chill. Um, yeah, let's go to next. Let's get this thing going. Ah, oh, here we go. Points to spend. To be honest, this is kind of like my favorite part of RPGs is just the creating the character. It's funny. You know, I kind of enjoy that more so than in large parts of, of the game. The sad thing is that like it takes me like five hours to just choose over one point. Um, luckily, with classes, you kind of have to put points in certain things. So me being a mage, I'm sure we're going to want to have magic. Cunning determines how well a character learns and reasons. Most skills, such as herbalism or combat tactics, require a quick mind to master. Reservant I. Let's see. Don't want that one. Magic is a measure of a character's natural affinity for the arcane. This attribute is cu crucial for mages since it directly increases a character's spell power, which determines the potency of all spells. Okay. The magic attribute also determines how effective potions, poultices, and salves for all classes. So we already have a good number of points. Let's put in another one, just to be real chill. Um, I don't think we really need that much cunning. Constitution. Let's see, health, resilience. That's always good. I feel like I'm going to be weak. Willpower is also probably going to be really important, so I'll probably end up putting stuff in willpower. Let's see. Willpower represents a character's determination and mental fortitude. With high willpower, mages can cast more spells thanks to a deeper mana pool. Okay, so more magicka. For warriors and rogues, we don't care about them. So yeah, so I got a little bit more health, solid magic starting off, and some willpower. I'm guessing dexterity is for ranged. Yeah, and strength to strength. That looks pretty good to me. I uh, guess we'll uh, start off with that. More skills. Love it. It's kind of got a uh, Knights of the Old Republic sort of starting. Um, if you guys have played that. Looks like I only have uh, access to two skills and only one point to spend. Sorry. And we are back. I had to go let the dog out real quick. Alright. And now we're over to the skills section. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and look at these bad boys. Um, let's see. Is this one I can choose? No. Uh, okay, so I already have it. Okay. Herbalism. The character can make... Okay, perfect. Um, I actually really like stuff like um, alchemy and potion making in games, so I'm definitely stoked about that. i uh, got to be level 4. What are these other ones I can do? Coercion. Nah. Stealing. I've always done stealth stuff, so I don't know if I'll be doing that. Character can detect the presence of nearby creatures. Um, uh, nah, sounds kind of boring. Potion, ooh, poison making. Now this is what I like to do. Combat training I don't need. Yeah, we're going to go with poison making. Poisons and potions, that's the name of the game. Any self-respecting mage has a good alchemy and, and apothecary skill set going on, if you know what I mean. And, uh, okay, on to spells. Nice. Arcane bolts. That sounds like a party. Sorry, that. Let's see here. Flame blast. Okay, so I can do a little, some more damage. Oh, sh there's are there are a ton of spells. Uh, okay, a little defense. Hmm. Mana drain. Walking bomb. Mind blast. Character protects a wave. This is nice. I feel like it's gonna suck if you guys have to sit through all this, but I like the options. I'm, I'm gonna have fun going through all these things, spending forever trying to decide. I saw heal. I'm definitely gonna go with that as a spell. Uh, always gotta have some sort of heal, regen, and stuff. Casters, close fitness, healing, and ally. Perfect. All about that. And we'll probably wanna do some more damage. Primal. I'm guessing that's sort of like the destructive. Um, DPS sort of damage. Let's see. What's up with this guy? Ooh. Let's go with the simple flame blasts. Can't go wrong with that. Standard. Always going to need it. Difficulty level. This is my first time playing. So, yeah, normal's going to be what we're going to go for. Let's get into it. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the circle tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry 
Watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinter Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the Dream Realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon armed with only your will. That guy stole my beard. Is there any other option? There is tranquility. Is losing all your magic an option? No, I have faith that you will succeed. Know this, apprentice. I should hope so. You stole if my you beard. If you fail, we Templars will perform our duty. You will die. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. That was cool. Okay, right click to attack. Oh, and I guess the rest is not important. Uh, this must be all the uh, the extra quests, because we do. This isn't the vanilla version, I believe. It's uh, the expansion and prequel and all that other good stuff. So let's see. The game crashed for some reason. Um, but that's technology for us. Either way, we are here. We shall not be denied. We and us Ron Weasley haircuts. So uh, let's see what's going on and uh, check out this whole magic thing. Okay, typical moving. Got a vase of healing. Of let's course. See of course, vase of healing. Shining, shimmering orb of light. Don't know what this does. Sure, it's a party. It's difficult to be sure what this scintillating shimmering orb is but just want to make sure feel better. Oh, okay. There you go. So I guess that's some morale. Let's see. Let's see if inventory is I like usual. Perfect. I'm assuming I can drag and click. Kind of works like typical games I've played. All right. So we got some healing going on. Can I blast a spell normally? Nope. What about this? Can I heal? Nope. Assuming I gotta be in battle or something. Alright, well, carry on. Uh, okay, you're in combat situation. Zoom out, scroll backwards. Perfect. That's fine. I don't, I don't care about all this. Why am I paused here? Let me get out of here. Let's go. Aha, I see you! Oh shit, this guy can throw spells too. And, uh, can I fire? What the hell is going on there? Don't punch him. Do something magical. Yeah, I don't know, bro. That's going to take me a while to get used to this magic stuff. Do I have to hold it down, maybe? No. Oh, uh, maybe I just don't know magic skills yet. No, uh, that's not working. Oh, here we go. So why did it work that time? Oh, 
this is gonna be one piece of work all right let's continue on so one time it worked uh... whatever this the arcane bolt uh... maybe i have to be far away before it'll work i don't know but this wasn't working and this wasn't working either let's see activate a short range okay so probably so flame blast i gotta be short arcane bolt long distance projectile so let's see here let's give this a try ah here we go he can be taught my magic is stronger than yours all right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, magic looks like it's kind of badass. I don't care about your notes, sir. All right, now let's see if we can get this uh, flame thing figured out. Let's check out the situation. Mm. Still not working. Nope, still not working. Maybe I have to press the. Nope. On. Maybe it's like the worst skill ever. Just go with the arcane bolt and just pound face. Alright, what what is wrong with you, Flame Blast? Alright, see this I guess that's a little help I can get. Tell me why I'm such a loser and can't figure out Flame Blast. Oh maybe I can someone else thrown to the wolves as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. Um okay. I guess this rat is talking, huh? Yeah, you're a talking rat. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well, Mouse. Like I said, in this place, you are what you perceive yourself to be. I think I used to be like you. I want to be a dragon. Before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. Yeah, that, that's not going to happen to me, sir. That has been said before, but you don't know the danger. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fade. So a why pit me against such a creature? Tower. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to ask. Maybe someday, so will I. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. Alright, cool. I got a dangerous spirit is oh, not wait. far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. I'm definitely not ready to fight with fire, apparently. Um, hopefully this rat can do something about that. All right, well, I think uh, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, it's been a cool start. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Very promising. Um, I'll have to stop being such a noob and figure out how to do a typical flame blast but besides that uh should be pretty awesome i thank you guys for watching um please stay tuned for more videos um as always i'm dre Godams, and you guys well you guys have just been great till next time stay gaming